This is getting out of hand. Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees, but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. So the New York Yankees just got swept by the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds are three and a half out of the National League wild card. The Diamondbacks are ahead of them. The Mets are ahead of them. Cardinals, Padres, Braves, all ahead of them in the wild card. And the Yankees just got swept by them at Yankee Stadium. So there are some people who believe, hey, listen, relax. Uh, we're okay. The schedule's going to get easier. Well, from what I'm seeing, the schedule really doesn't get much easier. It doesn't get much easier until like August 8th or August 9th. You have Tampa Bay in there. That's coming up soon. Coming up after the Boston series. Then you have Baltimore. You have Boston series this weekend. Then you have Tampa Bay again. Tampa Bay always plays the Yankees hard. I'm not going to go in there and think, oh, this is going to be an, an easy series. They always play the Yankees tough. Then you have the Mets that beat our butts over there at City Field. Then you have Boston again. Then you have the Phillies. And then after that, who do you got? You have the Blue Jays, and then August 6th is when it gets easier against the Angels. But all of these teams that we have up until August 6th play us incredibly tough. And with this Yankee lineup and how piss poor it is, we need improvement. We need change. Now, who to blame? Is it Brian Cashman? Is it Aaron Boone? Is it Hal Steinbrenner? Let's look at what Brian Cashman did this past offseason. He acquired Alex Verdugo, a left-handed bat. He acquired Juan Soto, a left-handed bat, one of the best bats in Major League Baseball. He also brought in Marcus Stroman and kind of addressed the bullpen. I wish he did a little more. But Brian Cashman, the Yankees, a big knock on them was lack of left-handed hitting. He went and he got Verdugo and Juan Soto. Last year, Verdugo had a 745 OPS. Soto last year had a 930 OPS. So those are the kind of hitters that he thought he was acquiring. Glaber Torres this last season had an 800 OPS. LeMahieu had a 718 OPS. Expectations were, are also incredibly high on Anthony Volpe going into his second year this season. You are also expecting a healthy Anthony Rizzo, which last season when he was healthy before he went down with that concussion, Rizzo, before he collided rather with Tatis, Rizzo had a 300 batting average, 11 home runs. So he, he was hitting well, and you thought maybe by some chance we would get that Rizzo this season. And then obviously a healthy judge, Stanton, Let's also throw Austin Wells, a potential breakout year for him. I believe, what, the last week of the year, last year, he hit four home runs. So how did that translate? So all those expectations that the Yankees had, how is that translating this season? Well, Judge and Soto have been magnificent. But then after that, you expected a breakout year by Anthony Volpe, his OPS 684. Austin Wells, 671 OPS. Trevino, 693 OPS. Austin Wells and Trevino, they have a, they've been given a similar amount of at-bats, almost the same amount, and Trevino, his power numbers are better than Austin Wells. But Glaber Torres, you thought you were getting Verdugo and Juan Soto put that around in this lineup around Judge and Glaber, who had an 800 OPS last year, 24 home runs. This year, Glaber Torres has, has a 638 OPS. You thought you were acquiring Verdugo with like a 745, a 750 OPS. This year, 703. And the reason why his OPS is 703 right now is because over the weekend, he, he, he hit a couple doubles. LeMahieu. Had a 718 OPS last year. Since he came back from injury this year, 484. Then you have Ben Rice, who's been, honestly, it's been a pleasure watching him play. It's going to be a pleasure watching him develop. He just hit his first career home run, and he's learning first base. 
Hats off to Ben Rice. 765 OPS. But he just got here. So, with all that being said, you expected Glaber Torres to not have a 638 OPS. You expected Verdugo to have a better OPS than 703, closer to at least 730, 740. And that's not what's happening. This Yankee lineup isn't very good. We need some changes. Now, like I said, who do you blame? Do you blame Cashman? Do you blame Boone? Do you blame Hal? Some people think Hal's not the one to blame. Cashman's not the one to blame. Boone is not the one to blame. Then who is it to blame? Who do you blame then? The players. That's who you blame. So the Yankees have to figure something out here. Because with how our schedule is, this could get away from us pretty damn quick. Boston's right on our heels. They're playing good baseball. Last 10, they're 7-3. and three. Last 10, the Yankees are 2-8. and eight. Then you have Baltimore right after Boston, and Baltimore's starting to win again. It, they need to do something, and that's Cashman's job. He needs to improve this team, this lineup. And losing Giancarlo Stanton was enormous. Losing that almost 800 OPS, losing those 18 home runs, huge. Think about it like this when it comes to Big G. Giancarlo Stanton back in 2022 was an all-star. When the all-star game MVP, he gets hurt right after the all-star break. What happens? The Yankees collapse. What happened this season? The Yankee lineup was very good. Giancarlo Stanton goes down. The lineup hasn't been the same. So what does that tell you? This lineup needs improvement. Cash, go out and do your job. Do your job. And to his credit, in 2022, he went out when we needed starting pitching. He went out and got Montas. When we needed a left fielder, he went, he went out and got Andrew Benefricantendi. Unfortunately, that did not work out. Bullpen help, he went out and got Efros. Then he went out and got Bader. He, he did a lot that, in 22. So I'm expecting kind of the same here. But Cash, please do us a favor. Get something done. Improve this team. Because guys, it doesn't look good. The numbers I run off to you, it does not look good. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. <laughs>